हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस वीडियो ऑन इंट्रोडक्शन टू टिग्नोमेट्री पार्ट थ्री इज ब्रॉट यू बाय एग्जाम फीए डॉट कॉम नो मोर फीए फ्रॉम एग्जाम बिफोर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो प्लीज मेक श्योर दैट यू हैव वॉच पार्ट वन एंड पार्ट टू लेट्स राइट द राइट सम रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन साइन कॉज एंड इन द ट्राइंगल ए बी सी नॉट ओनली वी हैव साइन कॉस और टाइन वी ऑल्सो हैव कोसेक सेक एंड कॉ सो वी हैव थ्री मोर फंक्शन कॉसेक सेक एंड कॉ कॉसेक इज नथिंग बट वन बाय साइन ए वन बाय साइन ए सेक इज नथिंग बट वन बाय कॉस ए एंड कॉट इज नथिंग बट वन बाय टाइन ए एक्सपेरियन कॉट इज नथिंग बट सेम थिंग ओनली बट कॉट इज नंबर बाय टाइन ए सो वॉट वी कैन डू इज टू रिमेंबर we know sin cos tan we we have learned this till now pandit badri prashad hare hare bol correct this we have learned now only you here only you write cosec sec cos so if you remember this now do this then sin is always 1 by cosec or cosec is always 1 by sin same thing that is both the reciprocal of each other You multiply both, you get one. Similarly, sec is one by cos or cos is one by sec. See, cot is one by tan or tan is one by cot. So from this, you can say that sin is equal to p by h, cos is equal to b by h, and tan is equal to. B. We know that sin is one by cosec, cos is one by sec, and tan is one by cot. Or cosec is one by sin, sec is one by cos, and cot is. One by ten. So this will be opposite. So if you want to find cosec, so cosec is nothing but instead of p by h, it will be h by p. If cos is b by h, it will be h by b. If tan is p by b, it will be opposite. It is b by p. Correct. P by h it becomes h by p. B by h becomes h by p. And p by b becomes b by. P. That is how it is. You just remember till this point. This you can derive actually. साइन कॉस टेन पंडित बद्री प्रसाद हरी हरी बोल कॉसेक्स एक कॉ इफ यू रिमेम्बर दिस इन दिस फैशन यू कैन ऑलवेज फाइन साइन कॉस टेन कॉसेक्स एक कॉट फॉर एनी राइट ट्राइंगल ऑल्सो दिस रिलेशन बिटवीन टैन दट इज टैन इज नथिंग बट साइन बाय कॉस दिस वी कैन डिराइव यूजिंग ऑब्जर्वेशन इफ यू सी टैन इज पी बाई बी राइट साइन इज वॉट पी बाय एच Sine cos is b by h. If you divide these two, you get p by b on the left hand. So tan is sine by cos. You can remember this because it is used uh, frequently. Tan theta is sine theta by cos theta. So also we should know that if one of the trigonometric ratio of the acute angle is known, for example, we know sine c, right? Then we can determine anything. If you know sine a also, only one. If you know, if you know what is the value of sine a, that's all is needed. We can find cos a, cos b, cos c, everything. Sec a, tan a, cos a. So all the trigonometric ratios we can determine. If only one is known, we'll take some examples to prove this. Here, just you should focus on this thing. You should know sine cos tan pandit badri prasad hari hari bol cos x x cos. So sine is one by cos x, cos is one by x, and tan is one by. We'll take some example. A B C is a right triangle, right angle at B. A B is equal to twenty four, B C is equal to seven. We have determined sine a cos. Let's draw this triangle first. This is a right triangle, right angle at B. This is angle B, and this is angle A and C. It says AB is equal to twenty-four, BC is equal to seven. We have to find sine A and cos A. So A is my frame of reference. So since this is a right triangle, we can apply Pythagoras theorem. We can find AC. So we can say that AC is nothing but root of AB square plus BC square, and this comes out to be root of twenty-four square 
plus 7 square and that is nothing but 24 square is 576 7 square is 49 and this becomes root of 625 and that is 25 so this is 25 now when I am taking A as the frame of reference hypotenuse is this much only there is no doubt on the hypotenuse because hypotenuse is the side opposite to the 90 degree angle and that is the biggest side now when I am taking A as the frame of reference the adjacent side this becomes base or A and the side this the opposite side becomes perpendicular for A now we have to find sin A and cos we will just first use the formula Pandit Badri Prashad Hare Hare Correct. This is sine. This is cos and this is tan. So this we have. Now we have to find sine of A. Sine of A will be P by H. Correct. When I am taking A as a frame of reference, P is nothing but CB or BC, BC by H, H is AC and this is nothing but 7 by 25, correct. Similarly, when I talk about cos of A, cos of A is nothing but B by H, you see it is B by H. Now when I am taking A as the frame of reference, base is my this one AB this is AB by H is there is no load on H H is always the biggest side AC this is nothing but 24 by 25 so sin A is 7 by 25 and cos A is 24 by 25 let's find sin C and cos when I'm taking C as the frame of reference so let me uh, C is the frame of reference. The base is side adjacent, that is BC. So this is base for side C. What is the perpendicular for side C? The opposite side. This is perpendicular for side C. So now we have to find sine C. So we need to find sine C. Sine is nothing but we know P by H. So P by H will be same. For sin C, what is the value of P? If I take C as the angle, P is nothing but AB. So we have AB by H is there is no dot on H, H is always AC. So this becomes 24 by 25. Similarly, when you find cos C, use the same formula. Cos is B by H. So this becomes B by H. When I take C as the angle, C as the angle, base is BC, BC by H, that is 25. So this becomes 7 by, and that is math. So I got both the values. Very simple, I just do the triangle, use the formula Pandit Padri Pishad Hari Hari Bol, and then depending on my angle frame, whether I am taking angle A or angle C, I got perpendicular and base and then I use this perpendicular and base to get the so in this question we have to find tan P minus cot R first let's find the side QR so by Pythagoras terms we will say QR is nothing but root over the biggest side that is PR square minus P2 square this is nothing but root over 13 square minus 12 square correct so we solve this, this becomes root over 169 minus 144 and this becomes root over 25 and this becomes 5. So QR is 5. So QR is 5 centimeters like that. Now we have to find tan P. First let's do the formula Pandit Badri Pashal Hari Hari I will write it here. Pandit Badri Prashad Hare Hare Go Sine Cos Tan 
cosec sec cos. So you will remember this. Pandit Badri Pishad Hari Hari both sin cos tan cosec sec cos. Now I have to find tan p. Tan p is nothing but p by b. So tan p is nothing but p when p is the frame of reference by b when p is the frame of reference. Correct. Cot p is nothing but cot r. Cot r will be opposite of tan that is b by p. This b by p. Correct. B also when R is the frame of reference and P also when R is the frame of reference. Please note this frame of reference is very important. See, when I am taking triangle uh, angle P as the frame of reference, this biggest end is hypotenuse, there is no doubt on this hypotenuse. So this adjacent side becomes base. So this becomes base when P is the frame of reference. Correct? Opposite side QR becomes perpendicular, perpendicular when P is the frame of reference. When talking about angle R, the opposite side is this side, this becomes perpendicular when R is the frame of reference and this becomes base when R is the frame of reference. Correct. So, PQ is both BP and PR and QR is both PP and BR. When P is the frame of reference, QR is the perpendicular and PQ is the base. When R is the frame of reference, PQ is perpendicular and QR is base. So, we'll find tan P. Tan P is P of P that is 5, 5 by B of P that is 12. And cot R is B of R that is again 5 and PR is again P of R is again is 12. So 5 by 12, 5 by 12. So we have to find tan P minus cot R. We will say tan P minus cot R is nothing but 5 by 12 minus 5 by 12. And that is equal to 0. And that is my answer. Very simple. Just you have to understand that frame of reference, the perpendicular and base changes. Let's take some example. It says when sine A is equal to 3 by 4, we have to calculate cos and tan. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.